Hi, uh, my name is Deepak. Uh, you know, what's your name? My name is Nick Hepworth. Yeah. I work for a research and advocacy charity called Water Witness International. Mm -hmm. I'm also director of the, or one of the board members of the Alliance for Water Stewardship. Mm -hmm. So we remember last year that when we spoke to you talking about the work that you're doing in Tanzania. Yeah. And could you just elaborate what's happened after that? Yeah, uh, this time last year we were in the midst of doing a piece of research which was basically to support um, community-based organizations in Tanzania to do uh, um, evidence-based advocacy on what's, ha what's happening in terms of implementation of water resource law in Tanzania. So in Tanzania, as in many countries, to abstract water or to discharge wastewater you need a, a legal permit that's administered by a, a water resource authority. Um, and we were working with local communities in Tanzania to see how that's going and how that's being rolled out in Tanzania. Uh, and what, what our team found was that the, the way that the, uh, the water law, the reform water law is being implemented is unfortunately it is uh, giving uh, preferential benefit to the rich and powerful who understand how these law, laws work and uh, poor water users, poor farmers and poor communities were losing out because their uh, their water use uh, wasn't um, protected under legal entitlements. Uh, so we, we basically assessed what was happening in the field, uh, put it into a nice report and presented it at the Joint Water Sector Review in Tanzania, which is a get together of, of the donors from the West and Tanzanian government and NGOs. And we held it up as a kind of mirror uh, in a way to reflect the reality from the field uh, and bring that evidence to a, a policy forum. And it was great because it was very powerful to hear my Tanzanian colleagues stand up and, and really tell the, you know, tell the truth about what was happening in the field uh, and see people's reactions and, um, and we saw a, a definite commitment to, to positive change in, in Tanzania. For example, uh, in Tanzania you know, we, we saw that uh, the, water, uh, the basin water authorities they had lots of uh, difficulties in the way they were delivering their services and we found that that was linked to two things. Um, they weren't receiving the money from the central ministry on time so they were going a whole, almost a whole year without having any, any budget. In the last two months of the year, they got all the money they needed for the full year. So that's what, one of the reasons why they weren't serving the poor. Uh, and also the uh, basin water boards who sign off on, on their decisions, are supposed to be made up of, of uh, representatives of stakeholders in the basin, um, small farmers, uh, women's groups, uh, commercial water users, other land ministries, and an equitable representation. In fact, what we found when we looked is that those basin water boards were made up of uh, one or two powerful groups who perhaps weren't interested in changing the status quo. And what's the name of the report? Uh, it's called, um, uh, it's a joint report with WaterAid, Daraja and Tawasanet and Shahidi Wamaji. Uh, it's called Out of Sight, Out of Mind. It's available on the, uh, on, if you just Google that, uh, it's called Equity Monitoring in, in, uh, in Tanzania, in the water sector, um, or contact me for a copy. Okay. Thank you so much, Nicholas.